After the final session of OTAs, one thing is clear. Michael Thomas is destined to do great things in 2018. The third year receiver dominated against any corner matched up against him. The Mississippi College softball team has built a championship program since rejoining the GSC. The Lady Choctaws have won championships in each of the past two seasons. Now with the new team comes new challenges. Do y'all hear that? Wait, do y'all hear that in y'all's homes? It sounds like a garbage can. Wait, it's just the Pelicans picking up the trash by signing forward Darius Miller and point guard Rajon Rondo. The Mississippi College Choctaws and the Delta State Statesmen have been battling it out since 1935. The Mississippi College men's basketball team started out last season 9-8 and eight, but failed to make the GSC tournament. This season, though, the Choctaws look to push the basketball and get some easy buckets. The Mississippi College men's soccer team was started out the year playing four non-conference road games before playing here against West Alabama, the four-time reigning GSC champions. From the soccer field, I'm Corey Rolden, Mississippi Collegiate Sports. For the past five seasons, the Choctaw football team has been wearing these traditional jerseys. Now they're ditching the blue jerseys and they're going gold. The Choctaws football program has been wanting to get new jerseys for a while now, and Coach Rasmussen says the team looks and feels like a GSC contender. Felt that, you know, we've had a lot of people over the last couple of years ask about, you know, getting new jerseys, and the jerseys we've had, we've had since we, you know, started the new transition from, you know, 2014. Every year we, we try to raise as much money as we can to, to get it more for the players and we, we think this will be a, a big burst of uh, just energy and pride and a lot goes into getting new uniforms and longtime Choctaw's equipment manager T.Y. Yancey has been on top of things. Oh, it takes a lot of money you know and you know then you got to decide if you're going to change colors change uniforms uh, all that kind of stuff changing a bunch of stuff we're going to upgrade the uniform and uh, and all of that, you just got to make sure we've got the money and everything, which we think we're going to be in pretty good shape with that. Stop and go process to a certain degree. You got to be able to, we brought in a, a couple of uniforms that are going to be like what we're going to do. And we've got a lot of people that are trying them on just to see. That. You can see the new look Choctaws in their gold uniforms here at home against Albany State on September 14th. From Robinson Hale Stadium, I'm Corey Rolden, MCTV. The hardest thing in sports is to stay consistent. The Mississippi College baseball team won the GSC tournament last season. And in 2019, they come in with high expectations, picked to finish first in the GSC and ranked 18th in the country. Well, I don't want them to ever be passive or ever be satisfied in what they do. Uh, rankings and all that stuff don't mean anything uh, unless you come and show up to the yard and be that and be that guy. You have to instill a pressure into those players, and uh, all I'm trying to do is get the most out of them every single day. And uh, I'm not doing my job if I don't push them every single day to try to be the best that they can be. Before there was success, there was failure. The Mississippi College baseball program just four short years ago was 12 and 34. Seniors Billy Cameron and Blaine Krim believe it was the coach who changed the program. Uh, he's the type of guy who, if he was to play his seven-year-old daughter in soccer, he would want to beat her and he would not care. But, I mean, that's what has changed the program. And there's not a day that he doesn't come out here that he tries to make us better and he doesn't compete. And, I mean, yesterday he was pitching against us in a simulated scrimmage talking smack to everybody that came up to the plate. Oh man, he, he pushes us. He's a competitor. He wants the best out of, out of us and we try, to, we try to give it to him every day. The 2019 Mississippi College baseball team wants to be excellent, not average. It really challenges us not to be average. Average people uh, really just, uh, you know, they, they don't do the things that normal, like excellent people do. So. Uh, we just want to strive to be somebody different than anybody else. And uh, I think our guys really are not focused on the scoreboard. They're not focused on the rankings, not focused where we're going to be who we are. We're going to be Choctaw baseball, and we're not going to focus on our opponents as much as we're going to focus on ourselves. So if we can do that, 
our our objective is to you know win the Gulf South, be number one in the region, and try to play for a chance to get to carry, and hopefully to win a national championship. After sweeping Harding to open the season, the Choctaws will come back home to play Lindenwood College on Friday. I'm Corey Rolden, Mississippi Collegiate Sports. Gentlemen, welcome to a special edition to the Collegiate Sports Hot Seat. I'm Corey Rolden. And I'm Damon Wright. We have a special guest today, two-time Heisman Trophy winner, Archie Griffin. How was the banquet, Archie? Yeah, I love it. You're talking about that season a little bit. The AFC Championship game was below freezing and had yes. a wind chill. Minus 59. What was like to play in the game <laughs> wow. when there was a minus 59 wind chill? Mm. Uh, cold. As a matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact you know, I, I'll never forget waking up that morning and uh, you turn on the television to check the weather forecast. And, and all I can remember the weatherman saying is keep your dogs in today. <laughs> and so that told me in itself that you know, it, it, it was going to be a, a tough, tough day. Yesterday, the Mississippi College Power Forward. A big junior, Mr. Brandon Boston. How you doing today, Brandon? I'm doing good. How are y'all? Thank y'all for having me. Good, man. We're doing all right. I'm doing all right. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to talk about the Choctaws so far in sports. The Mississippi College football team just hired a new defensive coordinator, Tony Gilbert from Stephen S. Austin. Coach Gilbert also coached with Coach Bland at Southern Arkansas in the late 1990s. Damon, mm -hmm. what do you think that Coach Gilbert's going to bring to the Choctaw's defense? Well, he's going to bring something that we've been missing, and that's you know, genuinely powerful and like fast defense. We had a meeting yesterday, and the schemes that he's drawn up, and just even like just the first day, we can already tell that the schemes are definitely going to help the defense. And on top of that, he's just a great person. You know, He's a great guy. And I know you interviewed him. Mm -hmm. He's just a great great guy. His personality is mm -hmm. contagious. And he, and he wants to win. That's yeah, the other does. thing. That's the biggest thing. Uh, inside the, ba the baseball team is currently inside their preseason. They will kick off the 2019 campaign February 2nd at Harding University for a three-game series. The Choctaws are coming off of a successful season where they were the crowned the GSC champions and inside the preseason polls for the conference, the Choctaws were ranked number one and chosen to repeat as GSC champions. Corey, Getting the success is easy, but maintaining it is the tough part. What do the Choctaws need to do to maintain the success that they started last season? If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Mm -hmm. So you cannot stay the same. I believe that the Choctaws spent this offseason getting better with Coach Chu in the weight room and practicing. They got a lot of guys returning, so another year under the belt with experience. I believe that they can repeat as champions. But that is the hardest thing to do in sports. Mm -hmm. Winning the NFL Rookie of the Year, Alvin Kamara still sees room to improve in year two. So offended that I had to double it, like you said, it's year two, so it's just finding new ways to, to you know, be effective. Um, finding, just fine tuning the little things in my game um, that you know maybe year one where everything was going fast, now it's slowed down to where I could really kind of slow down and process and, and think about what's really going on and see everything for what it is. Last year, I was learning on the fly, you know, so it was, it was still a lot of thinking in my game last year, you know. It may, it, it may not have looked like it, but I mean, there was a lot of things I had to really think about, but now year two, even being in, in minicamp and, um, I mean, OTAs in, in minicamp right now, I mean, a lot of things have slowed down for me, so it's not as much thinking that I could just play, you know, just go out there and play. In addition to improving his game mentally, Kamara also improved his game physically, adding muscle mass during the offseason. I feel good. I just, you know, got a little bit stronger and, and, you know, kept it the same. I don't think I, I don't feel like I need to gain any weight, lose any weight. I feel comfortable. Kamara is expected to take a bigger role in 2018, especially with Mark Ingram being suspended the first four games of the season. Reporting in Metairie, I'm Corey Rolden, Fox 8 Sports.